Matthew's making such progress. I think so. But are we doing enough for him, for all of them, when it comes to rehabilitation? They're going to have to face a very different world after the war. I agree. But they'll all be leaving Downton soon. Leaving? Well, Turkey's about to capitulate and Roberts' Vittoria Veneto will finish Austria, so it's only a matter of weeks, even days, before it's over. We wouldn't send anyone home too soon, of course, but sometime in the new year, we will have our house back. So you want it just to be a private house again? Oh, shouldn't she? Or would you like to abolish private houses? Well, that life of changing clothes and killing things and eating them, do you really want it again? Wouldn't you rather Downton was useful? Oh, but it, the house is useful. We provide employment and... Oh, please. Let me look into keeping it open as a centre of recovery. I could run it. The house could be so much more than it was before. What about you, Moseley? Are you looking forward to this brave new world of Mrs Crawley's imaginings? I'm glad of my job, my lady. And I should very much like to hold on to it, with Mrs Crawley's permission. Servants are always far more conservative than their employers. Everyone knows that. Then I must be the exception that proves the rule. I don't dislike him. I just don't like him, which is quite different. Did he talk about Haxby? He's got ghastly plans for the place. Of course, Cora doesn't agree. I'm an American. I don't share your English hatred of comfort. Downton's comfortable enough for me. I can't wait to have it back. That's if Cousin Isabel allows it. She turned up today with a hideous list of projects that stretched to 1920 and beyond. Mm. Well, surely you can put her off. I don't know how, once the bit's between her teeth. We'll change the bridle. Find a cause that needs her more than Downton. She's such a martyr. Then we must tempt her with a more enticing scaffold. The war may be at an end, but the upheaval is only beginning. Oh, how right you are. That is why Downton Abbey still has such an important role to play. Oh, dear me. There's so much to be done. When you think of all the children laid up with the disease... But they're making such advances now, aren't they? Now, could we talk about the lecture programme oh, for Downton? We, we must, we must. If only I wasn't haunted by those women whose jobs will be snatched from them when the boys come home. But we have to find work for our heroes, don't we? That must be our priority, mm. however hard that might sound. Mm. As you say. And what about those wretched refugees? What will become of them? Ah, uh, now you've struck a chord. Have I really? Oh, thank heaven. What do you mean? Mm, nothing. Only the thought of those poor men and women flung across Europe, far from their homelands, and so much in need of your help. My help? Why do you say that? When it comes to helping refugees, your experience renders your value beyond price. One of the organisers said those words. Which organiser? I forget. But what about running Downton? I can't do both. Well, I suppose you must decide what is more important. Exercise classes and lectures on pottery or helping men and women build a new life. I must go. But I will think about it. Are you coming to Cousin Robert's dinner tonight? Are you? Well, I didn't feel I could say no. He sent a note this morning and was most insistent. What's it about? I have no idea. But we'll talk there. We're on to something for you. We mustn't let the iron grow cold. Thank you. <laughs>